is for the fit, the able-bodied. No sport for everybody. Sport is literally, if there's anything that I could describe as inclusive, it's sport. The inclusion in North Ireland has really improved. People now believe that North Ireland is home. As a result of the confidence from the ethnic minority people in putting out things that truly represent them and who they are, has really made that change to be so rapid in the last few years. You're in a wheelchair and you think, I can't do sport. And then DS and I do have these, these packs of disability equipment right across Northern Ireland to include people in things like boxia, in, in basketball, all sorts of sports. And from the inception of this tournament, it has always been participation, performance and integration. So in 2019, we had 12 communities. 2021, we had 15 communities. So this year, 2022, we have 20 communities. So within a space of three years, we have involved more than 600 participants because this project is not only for the ethnic minority, it's for the progress of Northern Ireland. And the joy for us is that we, we see more people participating in sports because we believe before we establish MSONE, integration among people of ethnic minority has been an issue. So we use that medium to integrate them. Not only integrating them within the ethnic minorities in Northern Ireland, but it's also fundamental and important to integrate our people with the local community. I used to get bullied as a kid in first year and second year. And then um, my cousin well, used to go back some here. And then um, he's the one that told me to come over to help my confidence and help my self-esteem. Then I started coming boxing when I was um, 13 years old. And ever since then, I've loved boxing, so I've been using it, and I'm 16. It helped with my anger as well, because as a kid, I used to have really bad anger issues and has controlled my anger and controlled me how to be myself. Knocked down Michael and Gary, actually, and Michelle. Um, went grocery shopping for everyone that was in boxing and also in Dandy Hall Club and brought everyone groceries and all since there was a lockdown and no one could really like, go and test shops. And that was a very big help to other big families as well. For years, I had a little devil sat on my shoulder since I was registered blind. So I can't do that, can't do this. And when I said I was going to do the couch to 5K, which is absolutely brilliant, 54-year-old, blind, overweight guy can do it and love it. Anybody can do it. Sport is for all.